For years, the Apple TV has lived in the background. It has been the quiet, well-behaved child of Apple's product family. It worked. It was smooth. It was reliable. But let's be honest, it was boring. While the iPhone got massive camera upgrades, the Mac got super-powered M-series chips, and the iPad became a productivity beast, the Apple TV just sat there. It was the same black box year after year. But something has changed. The silence is over. Apple has finally decided to give the Apple TV the upgrade it has deserved for a decade. And from everything we know, this isn't just a spec bump. This isn't just faster Netflix. This is a complete reimagining of what a living room device should be. As we approach the end of 2025, all signs point to the biggest leap forward for the Apple TV in history. To understand why this is such a big deal, you have to look at the timeline. The last real update was way back in 2022. In the world of tech, three years is an eternity. Apple updates the Apple Watch every single year. They update the AirPods more often than the Apple TV. This long pause tells us one thing. Apple was waiting. They were preparing for a move that required more time, more coordination, and more power. Now, that moment has arrived. Based on leaks, insider reports, and supply chain data, the new Apple TV is shaping up to be a device that redefines your entire home entertainment experience. It might look the same on the outside, that simple, clean, black square, but inside? Inside, it is a monster. Let's talk about the first major change, connectivity. For the first time ever, the Apple TV is rumored to use Apple's custom-designed N1 chip. This is the same wireless architecture found in the iPhone 17. Why does this matter? Because it brings the holy trinity of wireless tech. Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 6, and thread support. Wi-Fi 7 is a game changer. It isn't just about raw speed, though it is incredibly fast. It is about stability. In a modern home, you have 4K streams, cloud gaming, smart home devices, and phones all fighting for bandwidth. Wi-Fi 7 cuts through that noise. It uses multiple bands simultaneously to ensure that your movie never buffers, your game never lags, and your HDR content loads instantly. It is the kind of reliability that makes the technology disappear. You press play, and it just works. But the N1 chip is only the foundation. The real engine of this revolution is the processor. Apple is reportedly dropping the AE17 Pro chip into this tiny box. Pause for a second and think about that. The A17 Pro is the chip that powers the iPhone 15 Pro. It is a 3 nanometer beast with hardware accelerated ray tracing. Putting this chip into a device that plugs into the wall, where it doesn't have to worry about battery life, unlocks insane potential. We're talking about console level gaming. Ray tracing means realistic lighting, shadows, and reflections. Games that used to require a PlayStation or a high-end PC could now run smoothly on your Apple TV. Apple isn't trying to kill the Xbox, but they are absolutely trying to become the best casual console on the market. With the A17 Pro, Apple Arcade stops being a mobile game service and starts looking like a legitimate gaming platform. However, power is nothing without intelligence. And this is where the new Apple TV truly separates itself from the competition. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, this device will fully support Apple intelligence. Imagine talking to your TV like you talk to a person. Not robotic commands like play action movie. Real conversation. You could say, find me that sci-fi show where the guy is stuck on Mars, and it knows exactly what you mean. You could ask what happened in the last episode and get a smart summary. You could say, show me movies that fit my mood right now and it analyzes your viewing history to give you a perfect recommendation. Siri on the Apple TV has always been, okay, it could find an actor, it could open an app, but with Apple intelligence, it becomes a personal concierge. It learns your habits. It understands context. It transforms the TV from a passive screen into an active, intelligent assistant. This intelligence extends to the software too. TVOS 26 is rumored to bring a massive visual overhaul. We are hearing about a new liquid glass design language. Depth, motion, transparency. It makes the interface feel alive. Profiles are getting smarter, instantly recognizing who is holding the remote or who just walked into the room. 
It solves the whose Netflix account are we using problem before you even pick up the controller. But there is one rumor that is even wilder. There are reports that Apple is testing a version of the Apple TV with a built-in camera. Think about FaceTime on your TV right now. You have to prop up your iPhone, balance it against a book, and hope it doesn't fall over. A built-in camera changes everything. You sit on the couch, you answer a call, and you're talking to your family on a 65-inch screen. It feels natural. It feels immersive. But a camera does more than just video calls. It opens the door for gesture controls. Imagine pausing a movie just by raising your hand. Imagine swiping through menus in the air like Tony Stark. Imagine fitness apps that can actually see your form and correct your yoga pose in real time. It turns the Apple TV into a complete home hub. So, here is the bottom line. The Apple TV has been a quiet underdog for a long time. But with the A17 Pro chip, the N1 wireless architecture, Apple intelligence, and potential camera integration, it is waking up. It is becoming the brain of the living room. It connects your entertainment, your gaming, your smart home, and your communication into one seamless experience. If you have been waiting to upgrade your streaming setup, do not buy the current model. Wait. The future of the living room is coming, and it is going to be worth every second of the wait. My best opinion on this product. Honestly, the move to the A17 Pro chip is the most critical decision Apple can make here. The Apple TV has always been overpowered for streaming, but underpowered for gaming compared to consoles. This chip bridges that gap. If they can actually get developers to port console-quality games to the Apple TV, they can disrupt the casual console market from the bottom up. Not everyone wants to spend $500 on a PS5, but everyone wants to play FIFA or Call of Duty. If a $149 box can do that and utilize Apple intelligence to fix the nightmare of finding something to watch, that is a winning formula. If you like this video and want to stay ahead of the curve on Apple's next big move, make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this video with your tech-loving friends, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a leak. Thanks for watching.